Do you think there is a, talking of the global economy, do you think there is a tendency now with the ge entire geopolitical and the global economic situation of companies looking more inward? Does that uh, sort of create a new set of challenges for a global organization like yours? It's not a challenge, it's an opportunity. We are doubling, tripling down in India. Hmm. So our focus is uh, predominantly India, but some of the businesses we are building are for the global market out of India. Right. The same IT services model we are trying to um, use the same paradigm, but some of the new sectors we are getting in, which will be totally India-based, but it will be for the global market. Could you tell us a little more about the new sectors? I think uh, one of them, we've just seen some action in, and you're pretty bullish on in the semiconductor state. Uh, so we are, we are doing five new sectors. I think two of them, all of you know, one is uh, Air India, mm. um, which is a big bet, and we, we have thought about it, and we are going on scale. So we believe that we have to um, make the right investments and so we are scaling up fairly quickly. Um, second is we believe the Indian consumer market has to be pure omni-channel. It's not a pure online market or an offline market. So we are putting together uh, the omni-channel channel with our app. So that's the second. Then we have um, uh, gotten into precision manufacturing but we'll do an entire vertical integration in the coming years. Start with uh, manufacturing, then we'll get into assembly and packaging. Then the next stage will be uh, semiconductor testing, then fabless. We will do the design and then, and then we'll get into the fab. So that's the stage, that's the level, that's the stages of integration we'll go through, but probably not for a very long period, probably in a shorter cycle. So, uh, so the fab plan is very much now on and, you know, obviously... But it will take time because we'll go through the sequence. Hmm, hmm. Sequence because it's, uh, it's a very big investment. So we've got to make sure that we are doing the right thing and we are taking the right... We are investing in the right note. And before that, we have our own architecture. We'll have our own electric, electronic architecture, say, for example, automobile and for other sectors we are operating in. Then we have also created a networking company, which is a 5G, 6G, yes. and beyond stack. So that actually is ready for commercialization. We'll launch it. And then we are putting a battery, so yeah. a battery plant. We're putting two battery plants of 25 gigawatts each, one in India, one in Europe. So these are the five big sectors we are betting on. But so these are all for, except the app, everything else will be for global markets. That's right. You, in fact, had told us when we met you earlier for the magazine uh, that you are transforming existing businesses and then setting up new ones as well. So it's a mix of the current, re-energizing the current uh, crop and getting, uh, you know, into new businesses. How, uh, what kind of portfolio balance are you looking at between new businesses and what you're doing with the older ones? So we are doing the right thing. We're not trying to balance anything artificially. So, from our point of view, all our businesses have to do massive transformation on four dimensions. One is uh, AI, I'm pretty sure Nandan covered a lot of AI. So, there is going to be a huge impact of AI. So, every company has to do the transition, whether it's B2B or B2C. Second is uh, energy transition. Third is supply chain transition. Fourth is talent transition. So. This is happening in all companies, whether it is steel, whether it is automobile. In fact, automobile is very visible. Very visible we have yes. pivoted to electric vehicles. Commercial vehicles also, we have gone through electric. We have gone to electric buses, hydrogen buses. We already produced the first set of hydrogen buses. But still, the economics has to work out in some of these technologies. Similarly, in um, power, we are going through a massive transformation. We have pivoted towards uh, uh, renewable. I think by 25, our renewable uh, capacity will be higher than our coal capacity um, and by 27, 28 probably our renewable capacity will double the coal capacity. Uh, so 65, 70 percent will, uh, will be renewable. So we are doing that, we are investing in carbon capture, in, in chemicals for example. Mm. Um, and then um, talent is, a, we are predominantly an inbred company. I think uh, Tata Group has uh, a lot of people who serve the group for a very long time. So that's our strength. But at the same time, we need to, to inject talent and also train our people on uh, 
new technologies because AI will be a disruptor. I think uh, we can talk about chat GPT for all day, but it will be a disruptor and it is real. It's going to change the productivity equation by an order of magnitude. It has implications on jobs. Um, it has got implications on skills that are required for the future. Um, it has got a huge regulatory uh, yes. issue because already different governments have started reacting differently, which we have got to take the lead um, to come out with some kind of a regulatory framework where there is not too much of a difference between, because it's a global world, as much as the geopolitics is making it out to be uh, difficult, but still we are a connected world. So Absolutely. A has lots of implications. So all of these four are the transformations all our companies are going through, B2B, B2C companies.